Hey guys, I'm on a really significant subject and that's the utilization of our time. You know, time is this amazing incremental thing, seasons, hours, minutes, days, weeks, months, and so forth. And here's the way I view it. God is so infinitely vast and impossible to completely describe or define with the human finiteness that we all carry. I mean, there are astrophysicists discussing string theory and quantum physics, and they're, they're looking at the universe, the omniverse, the, you know, the whole concepts of relativity and time and space and light and sounds. And, you know, it, it's, it's, it's uncharted, big, beautiful frontier. And look, as a Jesus follower, I get that in the beginning, God created. The most plausible conclusion is not just an intelligent designer, but a personal, present, wonderful father. He said, you earthly fathers know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more shall your heavenly father give good gifts to his children? You know, it's he loves us. And in fact, every good thing bestowed and every perfect gift comes from above, from the father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shifting shadow. Ephesians 1.3 says that, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ, not the least of which is time. The Bible says our times are in his hands. It says we're to make the most of our time because the days are evil. I carve out moments each month and every day to make these things happen, to sow toward your spiritual advancement. And I'm believing God, he'll use it. And however many people want to view it, that's fine with me. I sow the seeds and God uh, germinates them, waters them, causes them to grow. And it's a mystery, but God has a plan. And I believe this is worth our time to look into his word. Psalm 31 verse 15 says, my times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemy. God Psalm 23 says, prepares a table for us in the presence of our enemies. So we don't need to be nervous in our time. We, we don't need to be worried in our time. What we do need to be is filled with faith in our time. God, I have time to raise my kids. I have time to sow in my marriage. I have time to do my work. I have time to rest. I have time to sleep. I have time to think. I have time to work. I have time to advance the gospel. And I want to make the most of my time because the days are evil. When I first became a Christian in 1972, I'd come through the turbulence in Southern California of so much social upheaval. It's happening again. It's psych it's, it happens in cycles. I mean, as a student of history, you look at crazy turbulent times during the thousand-year Roman Empire. You look at crazy times during the inception of the early church and its birthing and its fledgling years, the persecution, the hate, uh, the turn of the last century, higher criticism and this supposed clash between empirical evidence, science and spiritual uh, faith, you know, and how they're not incongruent. And, and you know, of course, my belief as, as a Jesus follower is uh, God is the 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 revealer of the mysteries. He's the answer to the questions. He's the faithful guide. And, and in this verse here in Ecclesiastes, it says there is an appointed time for everything and there is a time for every event under heaven. Man, when I was a young person and I read that, it, it instantly imparted bearing into my, my concerned and, and and kind of chaotic thought process. I, I, the way I, I as my personality, I, I often think tangentially, meaning um, in variables. You know, I used to think everybody thought the way I thought, but as I've grown, I realize there are different uh, personalities and different approaches. You know, I used to be very intimidated by the the, the left brain logic guys that just found algebra extremely easy. You know, I, on the other hand, I mean, I thrived in art and the creative side of things. Um, and, uh, you know, there, there's one of my, one of my sons, 
thrived in geometry, but not so much in algebra. And, and geometry is more of a right brain creative component. In fact, the teacher said he doesn't even have to look at the textbook and he's getting an A, he's passing, he's acing all the tests, you know. Well, so we're all different. And, you know, some of you that get worried, <clears throat> you're, I read a book somewhere years ago where creative people think in variables, almost like, almost like chess. And it's like anticipation. And, um, but I, I want you to anticipate, think about this. Our times are in his hands and we're to make the most of our time. And we could trust him to help us with decision-making, with choices, with our steps. The Bible says the steps of a man are ordered by the Lord, Psalm 37, 23. And I pray you get that spiritual boost today that helps you make great steps and great choices. In Jesus' name, amen.